Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be starting a new series called What's in the Bible? And we're also going to be showing a new verse every video. Today's verse is going to be John 1.1. 1, 1. Make sure to go grab your Bibles. If you guys don't have a Bible, we're going to say, I'm going to say the verse right now. Um, if you guys do have a Bible, pause and skip this part of the video. Here we go. John 1.1. 1, 1. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God, and the word was God. Make sure to like and subscribe down below before we get started. Okay, guys, we have to talk. Um, the people that are not Christians think like something came from like a big, the world came from a big bang, and people evolved from monkeys. How would we evolve from a monkey? Do like, do we actually really look like monkeys? Um. And what could have caused the Big Bang? I'm here to tell you that all the scientists here are doing about where the Earth came from and stuff like that are all wrong. Because if the Earth isn't millions of years old, it's only thousands of year, years old. Because God created the world. And when he created the first two humans, when Satan came along, he transformed as a snake and tempted Adam and Eve to eat the fruit of good and evil. And that's how the, the world, as we know it today, is corrupted. Well, not literally. So what I'm trying to say here is that Adam and Eve made the world fall into sin. And if I could, I would have gone back in time to see what we could do to Stop Adam and Eve from doing what they just did. Okay, guys, now we're heading to Adam and Eve's first children. Um, I don't remember what their names are, but um, one of them, he, he grew a bunch of vegetables and gave them to God as a sacrifice. He didn't really like it that much. But then the other brother was a sheep herder. He killed one of his lambs and raised it up to God, and he enjoyed it. Then, uh, um, then uh, his brother got really angry and killed him. And God was like, "Did you kill your brother?" And he was like, "No, I did not kill him." And that was the first lie. And then now we're heading to Noah and the ark. God spoke to Noah saying that his uh, he has to construct a boat that so he and his family and two of every animal land animal um had to hop into the boat so that they could breed and make the whole world populated again. And that's when Noah and his family hopped into the ark. And I, and it, when the flood came, they had to wait about 50 days and 40 days and nights of nothing but rain. And then they spent more than a year, pretty much a year on uh, the boat, just floating in the middle of nowhere. That's when uh, um, they sent out a um, dove. Then Noah saw, then two months had passed. Then the dove came back with leaves. And then that's when Noah broke out oh, and saw that he could see land. Then God told Noah to release all the animals when they got to land. And this is kind of like what how the um uh, Grand Canyon was built, not just by erosion and stuff like that. The the uh, um uh, flood might have caused the Grand Canyon. I don't know. Okay, guys, now we're going to be heading on to the last book of the Bible, Revelations. Revelations is a really intense book of the Bible. When me and my dad read it together, I was getting like intense because 
how it was saying the world was going to end. Um, so Satan, as soon as Satan gets cast into a prison, um, he'll stay there for a thousand years. Then when he comes back out, he'll grab his armies and march around the kingdoms of heaven. Then fire will come down from the earth, from the heavens and burn up Satan and his army. He will be cast into a lake of sulfur and fire. I don't really know what the lake was made out of. I just know it was going to be deadly. Okay, guys. So, what this is talking about is when God, when Jesus comes back to earth, he was going to set the people on the left and people on the right. People who believe in him I don't know what side they're going to be on, will be on the right side. People who does not believe in him will be on the left side. I'm just making up the sides where I think they're going to be. I don't know where they're actually going to be. But this is going to be a really, I don't know if it's going to be a cool time, cool to watch, or it's going to be scary and deadly. I have no idea what's going to happen, but the people on the left side who don't believe in Jesus will get cast into hell. Hell is just something where you have teeth gnashing, you, you're you crying, there's a bunch of fire there. It's basically, if you guys know, in Minecraft there's the nether dimension. It's basically like the nether. And in, then the people who do believe in Jesus will get put into the <clears throat> will get put into heaven when heaven is probably going to be better than um skydiving it's going to be better than doing anything in the world it's really it's going to be a blast okay guys there's going to be no crying every no um sin there it's going to be great um, if you guys want to see some of my past my past video when I was getting baptized, um, make sure you guys go check that out because it was I had fun looking at it. So you guys should just go read the Bible, go read Revelation, check out John one one, and I guess I don't know what else to say. Okay, guys, that's all the time I have for today. Um. Make sure you keep a lookout for my next video. If you aren't ready a uh, part of the fire squad, make sure to like the video, share the video, subscribe, and hit the bell for to get notifications. And that's how you're going to be a part of the like the fire squad. So thanks for watching. Bye.